Hey everyone, today I'm going to do a look for my The Hills series and today I'll be doing the Lauren Conrad look and this is the look that I came up with. It's actually, you can't really see it right now, but I actually do have shadow on my lid and I actually have the, the signature wing that she always does. Um, so let's go on with the look. I'll be using my 88 Warm palette today from Coastal Scents. I love this, I use it like every day. Okay, and the first thing we're going to do is apply Urban Decay Primer Potion all over our eyelid. Okay, so once you got that on there, I'm going to go in with the uh, um, Cream Shadow by Benefit and RSVP. And it's just a light champagne color, very similar to the Smudge Pot and Kitten from um, Stila. So you just put it all over your lid. She has a very neutral look in her... It looks like she's hardly wearing any makeup. It's just the most signature ring that you see on her. So you got that color on there. I can't see that well because it's really like it's exactly like skin color. Okay, and then I'm gonna take a shade a shader brush, go in with the palette right here, and I'm gonna um, use this color right here. So third row, the third one. And then apply that all over our lid. All the way up to let's two thirds up. just a light champagne color. Okay, and then we're going to go in with a fluffy brush, and I'm, we're going to go in with the highlight, which will be this color here. It's just a matte highlight. It's the same row, the color right beside it, so third row, um, fourth one. Get that on the brush, and apply that all underneath the brow bone, like right here. And then for the crease work, we're going to go in with the 226 brush right here. And we're going to go in with um, this color right here. It's just in your crease. And since my, my crease is not like, you know, not, not exactly like normal, but like I have a really small crease up to here, so that's where I'm going to place it. So we're going to go in with um, this color right here, which is second row. No, wait, not second row. Third row. So, uh, so, right one, <laughs> I can't talk today. This color right here, I don't know how to explain, but that color right there. And it's a little um, light brown color, light brown orangey-ish almost. So go on the brush, tap it off, and apply that right in your crease. So I'll put it right here, so I want it to hide because I put it any, if I try to fake a crease and put it higher, it's going to show and I don't want it to show. So this just defines the crease. And using this brush is really good because it evenly distributes the color and just gives it a light touch of it. So like right there, you're not even going to see it because it's so light. Okay, and the most important part for this look, we're going to go on with the eyeliner. So I'll be using my Urban Decay um, Glide On Eye Pencil in Zero. Since she does have like uh, the wing, but I don't want to use a liquid eyeliner because it would be too harsh. So I'll be using a pencil eyeliner so I can smudge it out and just give it a softer look. Okay, so we're going to go in, we're just lining our top um, eyelid like normal. Just in short strokes, that's what I do. Really thin lines so we can smudge it out later. And then for the wing, we're just going to go out a little bit and just bring it in. And bring it down and up like that. Okay, now we're gonna go in with our smudge, our smudger, and this is the smudger that I got from my Costco set. I'm just gonna smudge out that line. Just to give it a softer look. I don't want it to be too harsh.
And you can feel free to set that eyeliner with the um, black eyeshadow so it stays longer, but I won't be today. Because I'm just going to do this look and make another video and do another look. <laughs> so, let me make that wing a little bit bigger so it's kind of even. There we go. Much more even now. So just smudge that out again. Just smudge it within its own color. You don't want it to be like smudging everywhere. You just want to give it a light touch when you smudge. You don't want to tug your eye area because it's very delicate. Oh my lighting just changed. Okay. So once you got that on there like that, we're going to curl our lashes and apply some mascara. And I'll be using my Benefit Bad Girl Lash. I like this mascara because it gives it a natural look. You don't want like crazy lengthening eyebrows, but you can feel free to put on false eyelashes if you want to. Okay. Next step is the blush, and the blush she has like a golden look because she is a California girl, so you kind of want a golden kind of um, blush. And I'll be using my Laura Geller blush today in Berry. It's very similar to an MSF, but I'm not sure what MSF this would be. I thought it was, um, what is it called? Petticoat, but this has way too much stuff in it. But probably one of the blushes from the Colorcraft collection, it was probably in there. And that's what it looks like. And you can see the gold veining in it, and that's why I like it because it gives a nice gold and bronze look. So I'll be using my 187 stippling brush because with, when working with mineralized, mineralized blushes, you want to have a light touch that you don't want like a big shade of brush like this one that would be too much. So we're going to go in with the brushes, stipple it on there like this. Just really lightly. Let's get that on there. You can't, can't even hardly even see it on there. See? This brush is clean, so look at how much I have in there. Not much. Then we're going to smile and put it to the apples of our cheeks. Remember to put the most color out here and inwards. You don't really see the color on there, but again, I'll take pictures. Okay, next step, I'll be using a bronzer because she's a California girl, so you want to be bronzed, but not like crazy blondes. So I'll be using my bronzer from Ramel in um, Sunlight, and I'll be using this kind of brush here to put it on. This is my Costco brush. Just lightly push that on there, and I put it in the three um, motion on your face. Don't forget your neck. Down the middle. Okay. Now for our lips, she has um, peach, not peach, pink coral lips, and I'll be using my um, lip glass from MAC in the, from the Hello Kitty collection, and the color is called Mimi. So it's, this is what it looks like. I'm just going to apply that to our lips. I don't like how these are really sticky. It's too much. See? <laughs> Makes a funny noise. But yeah, so this is my Lauren Conrad look. It's really pretty. I like it. So more videos to come. Um, I'm getting my wisdom teeth out next Saturday, so I'm going to do as many videos as I can, and hopefully everything works out. And I'll see you guys later. Bye.